Fans are getting their first look at how Tom Sandoval reacted to Raquel Levis cheating rumors on Vanderpump Rules. On the April 26th episode of the Bravo show, Tom Sandoval addresses rumors that he was having an affair with Raquel Levis for the first time after they were spotted out together without Ariana Maddox. The hatred towards, like, Raquel. You're going this far now to throw f***ing Tom and Ariana under the bus with her? Exactly. I'm like... like Abby, we know everybody there. It's not a place where I would take a secret rendezvous. It's annoying that Katie would say something like that. It's insulting to not just me, but Ariana as well. Raquel and I were not like dancing all close in the dark corner of like a speakeasy. A bunch of us just went to the Abbey. Two of those people happened to be Raquel and I. People already say shit about your guys' relationship, and it pisses me off that then she says you and Ariana, she maybe didn't use the term, have an open relationship. That is like mm -hmm. the most ridiculous thing ever. After it shared during the April 19th episode that Tom and Raquel were seen together dancing at 1 a.m. at West Hollywood Gay Bar, The Abbey, without his girlfriend of nine years, Ariana Maddox, Tom confronted Katie Maloney in front of their co-stars for questioning him about their night out together. No, no, you know what? You know, Ariana's not very happy with you right now. She's not very happy with you right now. Why is she not happy with you? Yeah, you know why? Because you know what you said? You know what? You know exactly what the you know what you didn't you know what you didn't say apparently because me and Raquel went to the Abbey but apparently like that's where our that's secret right. rendezvous that's is where Ali, that Ali said how weird it was that she saw the both of you at the Abbey together in a confessional a producer asks Tom this point-blank question has anything physical ever happened between you and Raquel no nothing has happened between Raquel and I like nothing like that wouldn't happen between, you know, like, me and Katie. <laughs> However, Tom Sandoval recently revealed in his first post-Scandoval interview on April 11th that he and Raquel had already kissed in August of 2022, before his denial was filmed last summer. I can't believe what? that Tom Sandoval had Raquel Oh. Over when Ariana's away. I know. In the jacuzzi as well. <laughs> what? The truth is coming out for Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis, especially after this shocking sleepover confession. In a bombshell preview of the Bravo series May 3rd episode, the cast is rocked by the news that Raquel spent the night at Tom's while his then-girlfriend of nine years, Ariana Maddox, was out of town at her grandmother's funeral. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. Tell me why you're late. Sit down here. I want to hear why you're late. I overslept. Overslept? I stayed up late. I went back to Tom's place and we went in the jacuzzi with shorts. Oh, so you were in with both of them? Just you three? Yeah. Mm. Where did you stay last night? At Sandoval's. Nothing happened though. Like it's it not like whether anything happened. It's just the bad. fact that you I were know there. It looks bad. I know. It was just easier to sleep on the couch and stay the night. Following the revelation, Lisa calls Tom to get his side of the story. Hello, you. Hey. I'm calling you because Raquel has just shown up here, an hour and a half late, looking like a bag of. And then she said she got so wasted last night and ended up spending the night at your house. That's not funny. We just hung out for a little bit. Just literally dipped out. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, actually, she, she left early. Uh, hold on a second. So she didn't stay the night? I said she dipped out, which is true. She dipped out. So did she spend the night at your house? I mean, look, like... No, did she or not? Yes or no? Yes. But, like... Dude, like, we, we I'm not dude. I was going to break up with Ariana regardless. But you didn't. You f***ed your best friend instead. 
After starting strong with a conversation between Tom Sandoval and Sheena Shea, talking about his affair with Raquel Levis, which ended his nine-year relationship with Ariana Maddox, the trailer goes on to show Tom Sandoval talking with his best friend, Tom Schwartz. I sacrificed everything. Now my world just got turned upside down. I felt something I hadn't felt in a very long time. Jesus Christ, man. Next up, it's the moment we've all been waiting for, as Tom Sandoval tries to defend what he calls his friendship with Raquel Levis to his girlfriend at the time, Ariana. Me and Raquel became like really good friends. I don't give a f about f Raquel! Your friendship is f No, it's not! Yes, it is! You know everything! The rest of the explosive trailer goes on to show various Vanderpump Rules cast members digesting the affair news and reacting accordingly. You think this is the first time he's been creeping around? It was one other time. Come on! How long have you known? Tom told me this a month ago. Are you in Sandoval an item now, Raquel? No. I regret ever loving you. You don't deserve any of this. It turned out so horribly wrong. Former Vanderpump Rules cast member Kristen Doty is weighing in on Scandaval and not holding back. Kristen, who was a guest on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on May 3rd, starts off by sharing her thoughts about Tom admitting that he had previously tried to end things with longtime girlfriend Ariana Maddox. Reaction to Tom's out. claim he tried to end things with Ariana, but she was in denial and refused to let him. It's the same thing he said about me, be a man. If you want to break up, break up. Kristen also dated Tom Sandoval for roughly five years. At the time, there were rumors that Tom cheated on Kristen with Ariana. They later confirmed that they did kiss while Tom and Kristen were still together. In another segment on the late night show, Kristen shares her initial reaction to the news breaking of the affair and weighs in on fans saying that Ariana, quote, had it coming. What is your reaction to a small contingency of fans claiming Ariana um, had it coming after allegedly beginning a relationship with Tom while you two were still dating? Nope, and I'm the one who gets to say this. Nobody else's opinion matters. It is not the same thing. She didn't deserve it. No. While Kristen is no longer a permanent cast member on the reality TV series, she does confirm that she heard of the speculation about Tom and Raquel's relationship before it became public knowledge. Um, James's girlfriend, Allie, was the first one to raise the red flag about suspicions about those two. Had the speculation about Tom and Raquel made its way to you? Yes. Oh. It had. Yeah. <laughs> and what were you saying? I just thought it was, so honestly, what I thought was that Schwartz and the girl Joe were hanging out and the only friends they had were Tom and Raquel. Okay. So the four of them were constantly hanging out, but it did start to make me feel a little weird. Buckle up for the most intense Vanderpump Rules reunion of all time. How did this go from a one night stand to a full relationship between the two of you? On May 11th, Bravo gifted fans with an explosive first look at the highly anticipated three-part Season 10 reunion, beginning on May 24th. And we are completely freaking out over all the scandal of all bombshells. A reunion that may be more explosive. Don't even look at me. You don't deserve to look at this. And dramatic. James and Lala can't talk because they and so I wasn't Ms. your was best kid. friend than anything we've seen in the show's 10-year history. Let's break it all down, starting with this intense moment from Ariana Maddox talking about her former partner of nearly a decade, Tom Sandoval, cheating on her with her ex-best friend, Raquel Levis. I can't think of two worse people, I can't. I don't see anything good coming for either of those rats. And after this epic clapback from Katie Maloney to her ex-husband, Tom Schwartz. She has a long history of diminishing my friendships. You're friends with everyone. You're like a serial killer's wet dream. We see that the friendship between the two Toms could be crumbling. Tom, when did you find out that they're f***ing, dude? Late August. Told Late me that August? You... Yeah. Oh, what? No. That's did when you, you guys told not me. put your timelines together right. to match? And leave it to James Kennedy for lightening up the mood with this laugh out loud moment. I have been super selfish. Selfish does not cover it. Diabolical, demented, subhuman. Poo poo head. Both of you poo poo heads. James. I'm gonna get sent for a timeout. 
But the biggest bombshell from the trailer? No, it's not when Tom and James almost get into a fight. You backstabbing Get in my face again, I'll you up, mother I'll you up so quickly, Tom. Honest. You're a worm with a mustache. Or when Tom breaks the fourth wall. I don't want to camera my god face. It's when we're left with this super cringy cliffhanger. Tom, you are in love. Come on, it's a very simple question. Are you in love or are you not? Tell me everything. So I went with Tom to Tom Tom because he had that party thing. I found a screen recording of them on FaceTime. Oh my God. It was literally from the night before. He was at Schwartz's. He was at Schwartz's doing this? Yeah. What? After setting the scene, Ariana goes on to explain that she confronted Raquel directly to get answers. That's when I called Raquel and I like started like making her tell me like what the when did this start? She said, right after the girls trip. I'm like, you mean right after Charlotte died? I have to go home. Charlotte's like, what? She's not gonna come back this time. Rihanna, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so she said they kissed. Well, later that night when we were out here, I pressed Tom. He said, well, they actually in her car that night. Shut the up. Uh, 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 uh. No. And he didn't have a key mm -hmm. to get in, so he had to ring the doorbell and I had to let him in. I'm. <sighs> no. Yes. Ariana ends the clip by sharing her emotions after learning about the hookup. My emotions were clearly all over the place, and he was angry at me. Angry at me. Well, life's about living and learning, right? So that's it. And live, well, I'm trying to actually write a book and put it all down, but I've been doing it for two years and it's still nowhere near done. So I guess I've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I've learned recently that I can handle anything that's thrown at me in life. And I think that that was something that I was always scared of. And I learned a lot from Lisa on a regular basis. Lisa has instilled a lot of confidence in me. She's like my fairy godmother. Yeah? I'm happy to be, you know, a mentor to these young people and support them when they need it. Because I also feel that I kind of invited them into this very complicated forum. And it's okay when you're thriving and when you're doing so well, but when your heart is broken, and I get goosebumps I talk about that, to have it publicly displayed all over the world and the humiliation that I just love to see her come back take a minute but then come back stronger and I think that's what life's about it's not how hard you fall it's how many times you get up so cheers to that would you be violent or would you be rational <sighs> I think I just walk out just walk mm. that's what would be said Jennifer Lopez is sharing her thoughts on the Vanderpump Rules drama on the May 4th episode of The View, the co-hosts of the Emmy Award-winning panel show weigh in on the drama surrounding Ariana Maddox's ex, Tom Sandoval's affair with co-star Raquel Levis that ultimately ended the couple's nine-year relationship. Oh! oh. <laughs> I mean, is there any coming back from that? No! no. And you know what? It's not the cheating that's the most, the hardest to watch. I haven't been watching this, but the the lying. When it was time for Jennifer Lopez to join the table and discuss her new Netflix film, The Mother, the ladies of The View couldn't help but ask her what she thought of Scandaval. Hey. Hello. Hey. <laughs> what are we doing? Mom? What are we talking about? We're, We're talking about topic. you. You are, <laughs> you are one. Well, let me, before I do that, do you watch the show Man of Pump Rule? You know what I think about what? Watch this show called Vanderpump Rules. You know, I have seen it, mm. but not, like I don't watch it regularly right. or anything. Like, you I, might, I know of it. I know right. of it. Yeah, you know. Of I it. do. So okay. what would you do if you your if best I was friend what? Was sleeping if... with your husband? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is that what's happening yeah, on that's Vanderpump? What's happening. <laughs> yes, that's what's happening. Yes. And they've been living I together not... for ten years. Would you be violent or would you be rational? I think I just walk out. Just walk mm. out. That's what would be said. Yeah. Just walk out. Why waste Leave time? That. No. Yeah. You, yeah. you know everything no. you need to know. That's what else do you need that's to know? Yes. That's, that's all good. the info you that know. you need. Ariana Maddox is serving up some piping hot tea. 
Following the explosive season 10 finale of Vanderpump Rules, Ariana stopped by Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on May 17th for a truly jaw-dropping episode. When my Andy girl was brought up tonight, Tom mentioned that you have always known the truth about that. What actually happened between the two of them? Uh, they slept together. It was before he and I were exclusive, and I didn't want people to think the absolute worst of the man I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with, so I defended him. At Bonnie Calling, how did you feel about LVP saying Tom couldn't resist the beauty queen? She's never won a pageant ever. <laughs> I mean, I was there, so we were there. Oh my God. <laughs> I made signs for crying out loud. Watching the season back, knowing everything we know now, there have been so many cringeworthy moments. What has been the most cringeworthy for you, would you say? Uh, the um, fabrication of a narrative that was being formed like the entire time without my knowledge behind my back by not just my ex-boyfriend, but his little flying monkeys as well. Um, the flying monkeys are? Tom Schwartz mainly. Okay. You mentioned tonight that it was a woman's intuition that urged you to go through Tom's phone the night that it fell out of his pocket. Prior to this moment, did you have any inkling that anything was off? Well, when he would not come home or he would be out super late, I would ask him things and I would say, where were you? What were you doing? And he would say, I was at Schwartz's. And I would say, really? Let me see your phone. And he would say, sure, here you go. So I would look at his text. I would look at his phone. And he was very good about concealing the double life and hiding all of the evidence. So there was an, so you were a little suspicious enough that you were looking through the phone. It's like I wasn't suspicious about an affair right. or about Rachel, but I was like something was clearly going on with him mentally, and that's what I was picking up on. From heated confrontations to new cheating revelations and the return of an OG cast member, this episode had it all. Dude, this is very bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I love you. I love you. I'm not going to beat you while you're down, man. No, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I know, man. I know you just got caught I'm up. Sorry, man. dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> you done up, man. I mean, you had a game plan. And you just didn't put it in motion. <laughs> I love you, dude. I, just, I love you too, man. I'm I don't sorry. want to lay too much on you right now. I just want you to know it's not good. <laughs> yeah, this is all relatable, but you had so many opportunities to sit down with dude, Ariana. Me and you had a moment last week. I sat down with you. I was like, dude, it's time to tell her because if this comes out, no, I know. without you telling her, you're going to humiliate her. Like, me and Raquel had to be on the same page. After that night, nothing happened to, like, life is beautiful or whatever. Ariana never asked. Me be like, I'm going to Schwartz's. All she would have had to do is follow me and see that, you know, I'm not. I mean, you don't want to put that responsibility on her. This is just the worst absolute case scenario. People are upset with me just for being your business partner and friend. I'm f***ing canceled. Okay, well, stay off social media. I had to tell my family about you. Your mom f***ing hates me. A little bit. Yeah. What about your family? Or do you not? Hmm? We don't have to talk about it. <sighs> I don't know. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> I said they love you. Oh. But I love you, too. I know we always said, like, we wouldn't do this if we didn't think it was worth it. Just think of it. It imploded. It's not... <laughs> this is not ideal. At all. I know, I know. It's the stupidest thing. I can't kiss either. I can't either. I can't either. It's so weird. When I turned 40, I had this sort of like spiritual awakening. Like I was going to break up with Ariana regardless. But you didn't. You f your best friend instead. Whatever. So other than Miami girl, 
This is the first time you've ever cheated on Ariana. It was one other time. <laughs> You're sick. Just a random person? Yeah. Well, no. It's not fair. I'm not going into it. Things with Ariana and I have not been good for a very long time. What's a very long time? Four or five years, maybe. Then why would you buy a house with her? Because it felt like it brought us close together. It felt like a Band-Aid. But, like, how do I end a relationship? This is not... You be a f***ing adult and you have a conversation with her. And you I say... I tried to. She threatened to f***ing kill herself. Then you know what you do, Sandoval? You fly in Tanya, you bring over Jeremy, and you have all her f***ing friends there ready to rally around her I like know. we're doing right now. I you literally I couldn't say, know. I'm leaving, I'm not happy, and then we pick up the pieces that you f***ing left. You don't f her friend. I would love to be able to have a conversation with her when she's not so angry at me. I've been very conflicted about being honest about details because I think about it hurting Ariana more. I don't know if I'll ever get that chance, which kills me. <laughs> We did always protect each other. And for all the things that we've been through, for that to be the last conversation we have is really hard for me to, to handle. In fact, Tom gets so emotional, Lisa rushes to comfort him. Oh, God. Okay, you have to. God. You have to. Oh, God. You have to. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh God! You have to stop. It's gonna get better from here on. Oh. It's gonna get better from here on.